Hello Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this part two of your extended series. So um, in the extended, uh, we have uh, done January, February and March. So if you find yourself clicking this video randomly, uh, please go to the first part of the extended. And first, please watch January, February and March here. We we have a, um, we have a break it down and then uh, you can visit this one again to continue from April as the extended will be in two parts. Um, so now I'm going to uh, continue with the uh, April, your April. Um, okay, so after March, this is this is the time actually where uh, 22, 2022 is beginning for you. Uh, the first three months uh, includes everything. It's an eclectic, let's say, three months. Then suddenly this realization of hope with the star appears. Now, here I think our ideals... Uh, with regards to uh, 2022 is kicking in, okay? So it's like you start to have this again renewed faith, renewed faith, and this renewed faith may lead up to um, actually um, a mind state which is going to put you back into this this hopes remember we we, we here had the uh, full as your hopes uh, of course in a month you can witness many developments but in this series we are uh, exploring the most dominant term for that month so the star is as uh, is an aspect of april uh, it's not the all of it, but the most dominant one, uh, as we say. Uh, I do feel there is a going to be, I feel you are finding a recovery here. April is a recovery time. Recovery from uh, anything which felt oppressed to you. Uh, this is also, uh, if you have currently, as you time you watch this video if you have any health situation by the way this can be also like a recovery time it can be a time uh, for uh, visualization also quality time with yourself it can be but in this three months you have really pu pulled all the attention to yourself and you were like very central in april uh, there is a particular, uh, yeah, solitude, a quality time with yourself. And um, there is something with regards to, um, how do they say? Like, if you, had a, if you had a particular original goal, okay, original goal, um, it may help you to, like, recheck it. Uh, we have the we have the discord among friends and family. I think this continues from the March. Remember, in March we had the family sort of. There is a particular maybe a discord that you will be still uh, concentrating uh, on that and uh, actually trying to find like this hope and willingness around situations. You are waiting an announcement. The star here can be the. Uh, realization of the hope which is gonna come through this announcement we have also the honor and respect will come to you again you are still the center of attention there is a particular recognition uh, a due respect is given in something or the crown here your relationship with um, like um, how to say maybe not necessarily authority but like a there is this, let's say, a platform, which is, um, there is this higher, a higher status you gain that, I would say. We have also news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Uh, for those who may have, uh, who may have a, a 
conceiving uh, circumstances. The birth can be an important message, but if you don't, uh, a particular business opportunity which may arrive at this time may shift your focus into uh, this uh, from the struggle of this last three months, but can prepare you to the uh, future, I would say. Now, as I, I, I'm going to get the journey, uh, hero's journey oracle cards, because I see you that 2022 is really making itself visible and known and felt throughout April uh, to you. That's why I want to see you where you will be uh, in the where you will be at in this hero's journey. The fool is also our hero, and you know all the tarot cards are actually his journey. So where uh, will be where you will be at in this journey? Let's see. You are invited. Sweet up, show up, and open up. Uh, again, with the star card, actually, with this lady here, uh, with uh, <clears throat> with uh, some aesthetic moves. Um, there is a particular call to participate in something, and maybe this announcement is the one which is also calling you. Um, if you are into astrology, if you go through this uh, astrological transits, transits um, check your April and see what type of um, astrological transit you have there. The one of the most important one. Um, it may likely to manifest and produce results. You may, you may be also asked to be in a place. Okay, show up, sweet up open up it says so here uh, on april uh, recovery um getting back to original goals to have new goals to new opportunities a particular announcement which will be important for the rest of the year it seems will be important and with this honor and respect card some gemini's may be will get like uh, this honors to something get receiving this honors for instance for something mm, so it can be a bit um, it may really uh, nourish that uh, part of your let's say uh, ego in a healthy way in may we have the five of pentacles we had these cards from the beginning with the finances right the danger in many money matter uh, you know, be careful, pay attention to finances. Now, until May, I would say make the belt a bit tie up, okay? Because you may need your um, that accumulation of money. Um, because in the Five of Pentacles, the energy is telling me that you need to be very careful about the material side of life. In the beginning, you may not... Uh, uh, find um, a lot of resources available yet or let's say this is like beginning to things like with not so much uh, uh, material foundation like for some time you go had to have to go to do something let's say difficult but but then later uh, it is assured that it is gonna open up we need to seek out information in may which may help us Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially, and business. Yes, this is tapping into your, I think, already existent resources. In a time, Five of Pentacles, like, let's say you don't find something available to you or can, can be something um, that is not um, given to you. So you may tap to your, actually, your own uh, resourcefulness and also being clever when being uh, business. We have the great happiness card and we have the younger man. The younger figures and people, we have this fair man, younger woman uh, here, right? And now we have the younger man. You are, it seems like, um, engaged with a lot of people. A younger person may also show up on your path. 
in order to eliminate a particular difficulty with regards to uh, money, finance, uh, you may also seek out another uh, information which may actually help you. Maybe it's going to actually show your condition is not as bad as you think. Uh, in, in May, you may choose to simplify your uh, life a bit. Like, um, I do feel there is this, there is, um, this is, you are not necessarily seeking something extra, but warm and to, excuse me, to be warm, to be comfortable, of course, in your home will be important. But also, uh, you may consciously choose to simplify your life there. Uh, because here you are accepting a change and it can be drastic. That's why you got to seek out information. Uh, and this is, I think, happening due to the external conditions, uh, external influences. Um, actually, take a also look at inwardly at this time where, what you need to uh, change there. Uh, May can teach us some lessons. Are uh, resourcefulness very important to overcome this uh, I think actually the universe wants us to evolve uh, the wisdom in the relationships that you can find and in your one-on-one -on -one, uh, dealings as we have this people showing up uh, in your re uh, reading there is this constant uh, getting feedback or I do feel actually very close family members you are like engaging and uh, the universe definitely wants you to evolve. It wants you to more uh, conscious also um, with the external and the internal changes you go through. Um, so sometimes, you know, when we get too stuck uh, in our thoughts in life, we may unconsciously wish um for a change and actually the universe can really provide it so try not to get stuck in self-pity regret victimhood stay away from this uh thoughts even their projections i think um you gonna like break free something that have faith that that all the things uh, which will be occurring actually will be for uh, further enlightenment and don't torment yourself about relationships, money, home life, status, because see it, um, there can, again, in the one-on-one -on -one dialogues, there can be uh, maybe some discord that, especially that discord you bring from April. Um, now, I want to get some guidance there, actually, uh, I want to get uh, a wisdom from the animals. I really love this text energy. And just please show us what Gemini may need. We did the hero journey card. Now with the spirit animal card. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. I was talking about some quality time here in April, which may lead up to May. And this is like, okay, uh, it is okay if you choose to be independent also from a group. Like, you got to make your decisions on your own. Actually, this is the time where um, you are likely to follow like your own path but you have once uh, accepted this valid criticism in february um, there is no need to know here you just need to listen to your own intuition there is no it's not important what others saying at this time but of course you can draw a lot of information throughout uh, the one-on-one -on -one relationships here you got to believe that life is supporting you in any way. So May is a critical month, I think. It is one of the critical months for the um, 2022. Now in June, let's see what we are finding out. So what we need to know about June for Gemini's. 
June, we have the Four of Cups. This is very inward times, by the way. It's like super inward times. Um, you try to, after this first, you know, fast beginning, April, May, June is like, to me, feels like calmer. There is a lot of like inner activity in your inner circles. Also, conversations, friends, family, uh, acquaintances, people that you are in a daily basis in contact. There is a lot of, you know, stuff going on there. We have some karma uh, input here. You will reap what you have sown. We have also someone uh, going out of your life or the end of a situation. There you go. You found the casket, which is the coffin, actually. Someone is getting out of your life. And we have this also end of situation. Now, I think that this is wonderful actualizing. Until June, it has prepared you, I think, in a way. So now we find your hope like happening by the June. But another card here, what we can say, let's see. Okay, someone is getting out of your life. Uh, period of prosperity and abundance. Uh, maybe now, okay, with the money matters, something is getting better. And we have the uh, news waiting. Oh, announcements, news. Um, these, it seems, uh, will be always uh, at the background. Now, karma, this person's living in your life or the situation's ending can be a karmic situation or a person there. I want to get a card uh, from that, actually. Let's get this angel guidance at this moment. Uh, for this karmic situation or karmic person, uh, this is like a closure mount. And, uh, okay, so you're going to reap what you sow, okay? You're going to reap what you sow, Gemini. This June is, let's say, a karmic mount. Um, from the angels, we have the communication energy. I was talking about how you were uh, related with your in, um, immediate environment and people around you. The angels remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and honest. When you speak from the heart, others feel the resonance of truth and trust you. Talk positively. And remember, we had also the positivity here, Gemini. Talk posit positively, focus on the good in life, and you will feel happier and healthier. Communication is a two-way process, and Gemini is for the com communication. Lovers, right? Is a two-way process. Listen with interest and respond openly. This will improve all relationships. Again, your lovers, okay? Highlight, hope is all in this June, is really a, a critical amount. Communicate constantly with source using prayer, uh, which is asking, and meditation, which is listening. Always keep channels of communication open. Be a bridge to others' hearts and minds. Ask your angel to step into your aura and communicate in a higher way through you. Wow, beautiful messages. This is like, actually, this is the your default setting. And with the Gemini, it's the mercurial energy. And Mercury, Mercury Hermes was also providing the communication between the uh, humans and the gods in the Olympus. So he was always like back and forth, back and forth. Um, so here... Though after this news and package letter, I think some things will start to get ready for you now. It's like maybe the year is for you, like the first six months and then the rest first six months is likely to uh, develop uh, under very different circumstances. June, that I think we're going to solve a lot of uh, money and transactional problem. But a person's living in your life can be also a karmic situation. Now, July, what July is bringing us? Seven of Pentacles. You see, you have plenty much of something here. Plus seven months can also in indicate seven, seven months pregnancy for some of the Gemini. Okay, some, some of the Gemini. Uh, for those who are uh, available. 
but for those um, there is something right there okay there is something right and still developing you will have plenty of, of, of uh, things that there. there is so you are gonna easy I think uh, overcome this five of Pentacles energy the July here we have a marriage will take place either romantic and business there you go a person getting out of your life or it is ending a situation and then we have the marriage card we have the hard work for it because in the seven of pentacles you are at a particular crossroad with a person maybe uh, or you are on the road to success are and, and we have an older woman so it can be an older woman around you a mother figure uh, which will be also here involved or with their appearance uh, character now uh, gemini france july is when we see plot twist happening in your circumstances just a sec it is uh, important for us to take a good look at um and it's like that this is also like you will there is a a lot of communication like you're gonna have this many tongue use and there is this sense of futility something feels futile um this july may make you with all its developments like you are hearing or speaking like many many um languages like languages at the same time you are speaking these languages and um you you try to express yourself like to people to things in a different uh, way and if something was outmoded in your life with regards to your ex um, expression it wants you to let go of the uh, old ways like here uh, in july also it wants you to find the true language how you will communicate okay a particular uh, story of your life uh, how you will uh, how you express yourself will definitely make the difference throughout 2022 this is a a, a very intuitive knowledge also uh, coming to me um you are also now at the beginning of the second at the beginning of the second half you got you are creating your own sense of what you consider to be success or failure in life like um you now these two months you are holding you are holding um the tools of your own transformation um and this is like admitting yourself also i know what to do now i know what i want now and i'm gonna go ahead and attain it energy and you know in life failure actually does not mean regression it means that there is a better more rewarding path for us to take so if you think something has failed for you um this is actually not in the sense that we know as failure uh, look to hidden meaning under underneath july is the time when you meet and answer that delightful garden okay that de delightful garden and now you will be responsible for keeping it tending it um and then you're gonna make your choice accordingly um uh, according to the deep, deepest directiveness of your heart energy there uh, of course uh, the opportunity has appeared here now that ring that um commitment in business or romantic or something more conventional is getting in it is though gonna be a, a slow process because this is a saturn in taurus card and um it is okay you take it slow because this is a seven so you pause actually during the growth of something and now you 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 know if if certain things there is this still patches there like maybe coming from through this older woman if there is the certain things 
that hasn't turned out as planned now there is an assessment there and of course uh, the year ahead one does not need a reading uh, to hear that it is of course gonna bring us appearance set setbacks or failures uh, as they say in the modern times um, particularly with regard to material matters of our uh, lives uh, but we need to understand that these problems that has appeared are just bumps in the path or they are trials on the way as we move ahead so um, you know the this is not some kind of a, even we have these stops or setbacks, they, they are not regression or something. All setbacks and whatever you go through until July, okay, in this 2022, whatever you go through um, is for higher purpose, okay? Um, and nothing is gonna take like the word or decrease the worth of your path. Um, I think every uncomfortable situation that we get in uh, throughout a year, it actually makes us to meet with our greatest potential. That we discover the seeds of new growth in life. This is how you can take your July and the point you come until uh, that month that okay so I uh, I want you to have that uh, type of uh, perspective there uh, of course there will be time you will be finding you will be defining yourself in existing particular realities but when this starts to happen you can change your focus you you are also you will be also able to discern multiple realities there um, there is some kind of a garden there and you are likely to enter that. I mean, Seven of Pentacles, she's in this garden and it's like she's looking at the fruit star. So um, here, uh, if you are entering this garden, okay, the key in this uh, type of circumstances um, is that, you know, how you define your own reality has itself fulfilling potency as well. So um, that's why, that's why, that's why. Um, construct, define, and act uh, when it is available. Um, and know that, of course, every action has a set of consequences in life, but you create your own reactions also reaction to the right anger fear serenity etc like this is july is gonna make you to create your own definition of self gemini okay so um this is a this is really um you are you're gonna create something and then you're gonna see if you're gonna like fit in it or how you're gonna fit in it um it is to me <clears throat> Sometimes um, it, with the Gemini energy, it's it feels a bit magus, magic energy to me, and um, there is some type of a uh, <clears throat> magical realism in your story. If you really, uh, you know, if you can really uh, see it, and um, you're gonna really make now the connection with your consciousness, that higher consciousness that you were all trying to tap in. And I think you will have your messages clearly there. Why don't we honor, why don't we honor this, this card? And why don't we, <clears throat> let's get some angel card for this. Uh, I have these cards, by the way, uh, new mini decks. And every time we need guidance, uh, I also uh, give guidance to it or a message. And uh, it becomes uh, much more, of course, uh, effective in the private readings. Uh, I offer these readings until the first week of January. So that's why um, if you would like to have one, let me know. Um, it is a really experience and it is for the brave, definitely. Uh, it's for people who are like, hey, Karo, what I really need to know. Uh, and it, 
And, you know, no one really truly knows the creative potential that it can give to a person um, because uh, tarot is uncanny and it's not astrology. But once a person uh, takes a leap of faith into answering this experience, uh, it can really can be uh, life changing. So we have again, you see the July flow of prosperity. We have the Lakshmi here your prosperity and guess what june has also started with the prosperity and abundance here also there can be a chance for you to tap for some gemini's out there a uh, partner's uh, resources as well so there can be something together there now let's move to the next card and this is going to be uh, our august card so to our august card let's have the uh, wheel of the year so for August, then what Gemini's needs to know? For August, what Gemini's needs to know? For August, what Gemini's needs to know? Now we have the Five of Cups. Oh, there is, I think, an external situation. This is gonna uh, bring you a bit a uh, worry. Now here, there is something which can be threatening for the garden. Okay, we have just formed or answering, or a, mm, I think this is an external situation. You just need to uh, control your reaction there. But now let's talk about this emotional situation for August. We have major challenge to overcome, and seriously, when we do not have them. We have some unsettled time, need to plan ahead. Planning will be definitely the number one priority happiness and well-being and plus we have the older man now again this this people older woman older man fair man younger man younger woman it's always i feel like you are gemini in some kind of a in between the elder figures younger figures like you are in all the time back and forth. So there can be here some developments with regard to an older person in your life. Um, but actually, this is, to me, unsettled times. Their appearance may be, or I don't know, visit, or a particular effect on the situation can really make you happy. But the uh, unsettled time here, I think this is in the collective level. Uh, there is a particular disrupt to a situation. It may disappoint you. Uh, unsettled times, that planning energy. So you got to here overcome a uh, obstacle. But maybe with the help of this older man or with their appearance, that it can solve out a situation there. Of course, in the Five of Cups, um, is an interesting realm to be with. It is very human. Uh, it is a very human realm and it is a pure human experience absolutely to be in the five of cups and um, it is that spilling energy something is uh, spilling um, sometimes it's that realization that our connections or actually this is in the relationship wise but it can be also uh, uh, in another way but when we feel that our relationships are transient, they are they can be impermanent, uh, ephemeral. So actually, when dealing with others, when communicating, when getting into that one-on-one uh, -on -one connections, it is reminding us that uh, us that not to rely so much on others for love. Okay. Um, because here some cups here uh, spilled, but this can be not necessarily love, but let's say a trust or something in that nature. Because here something can empty it out, then you turn to someone, then whom, whom you turn to. Um, <clears throat> You actually, it actually wants you to, even some people like live out of your life or if we go through this disappointment, uh, this is about discovering actually you have still that major reservoir uh, in you, okay? Uh, that own source of internal love, which is the true unconditional love, which is not dependent on uh, 
about receiving from any other person don't forget that it just i know it's not very easy to practice that but it just there is a reminder that you have this major inner reserve that look inside uh, in yourself um because uh, you have the five of cups but only three of them has spilled kind of energy the two are still standing um so this is the mars in scorpio energy um Okay, so in every five or in every five, actually, there is a new life to be uh, filled. We have had also another five here. Uh, and also, you know, in the five of cups are uh, expectations. And uh, actually, you know, the materialistic understanding or ed egoistic understanding of love uh, involves desire and expectation actually in the five of cups if you are also into tarot this is about our understanding of love involving desire and expectation uh then you know it's about retaining those expectations uh, which leads to frustration and sorrow so actually it will be time for you to develop a deeper level of understanding in order to overcome that uh, frustration and uh, actually, um, you know, try to see your situation from a holistic uh, point of view. But this can suddenly rise a kind, kind of an antipathy within you towards something, okay? We, we had this anticipation that we had we will be uh, experiencing that great pleasure with something, but then the unexpected disturbance and expected pleasure has been eliminated there. So that sense of futility and regret. Uh, just, 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 just um, that emotional chaos. Emotional chaos, sometimes, you know, it may, it, it rises from actually, uh, from not being seen not being seen um so that or someone is not like uh, giving you that assurance not validating you right but you got to understand that these are uh, just uh, you can't just uh, trust everybody and everyone that okay and even the ones you trust they they can also at times turn away it actually all tarot uh, with these five cards, it all wants you to tap into your inner reserve star, okay? Um, well, uh, but then, you know, one asks themselves at this point, then uh, is nothing real? <laughs> I mean, then nothing is real, then nothing is permanent kind of uh, thing that that forces an uh, answer in which we we just um, there are not no answers in something but just you need to develop a deep understanding towards that concepts and when you develop it it becomes easier for you to accept that human condition and our human nature and more becoming in peace with it um so then get ready for some spill but now you have also the philosophical intellectual and existential background which can actually um, lift you now uh, up so let's check september 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 what we need to know in set oh why don't we get actually a card there let's get a card from that yeah I have, uh, I think, one, two, three, three more, and I will use it. We have four months left. Okay, so what we need to uh, then inform Gemini France with. But you know, you are coming out of, um, you are coming out of the. Um, Gemini, Sagittarius, North Node, South Node, Axis. Uh, you had 18 months to develop that sense of self and also things uh, beyond it. Um, 
this is gonna help you your past 18 months will help you actually throughout 2022 stand your ground it says oh we have also someone here again in the garden standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time now is the moment when you need to stand your ground yes five of cups not not uh, shaken it says don't get shaken you know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor it says by standing on your ground yes it's the hangman energy by standing on your ground you are actually moving by surrendering you are actually gaining by leaving the control you are actually having the control so it's that uh, Taoist perspective which is completely opposite of Western uh, education. Uh, because in the Western, uh, in West, they teach you to always oh, well, go ahead, don't give up, you know, go, 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 don't stop, you know, don't give up. Uh, but um, if something is like too much stressed on somewhere, there must be like the other version of it as well. So that's why you need to look at East. And uh, when I look at East, actually, I feel more comfortable with my uh, human self. Uh, the philosophy is there. Uh, and implementation of them, actually, of course, needs to be in a real base. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes it's not about that very instant answers to things, but you just need to develop that understanding and it becomes easier. Stand your ground, five of cups. Uh, will something ground you? Okay, uh, now again, back to the... Your reading needs the wisdom of the Eastern philosophies. Some, some reading needs the, needs the Western uh, experience wisdom, but some reading ne readings needs the uh, Eastern uh, experience wisdom. Okay, Ace of Swords, and we had the now the meditation guy here. Nice, uh, Ace of Swords. Yeah, the, you you are getting your mental fortitude. I don't know if there is going to be a new moon time there, but okay, we have used this one as well. Let me get. Okay, I was guided actually to get an angel answer for you for some reason. I was so much guided to uh, just a sec. <laughs> because Ace of Swords, that is like a question and you are just fry, trying to figure out the answer for it. Or there is this very distinct, you know, thing and um, you just try to get your mental fortitude in order to respond. It's a very meditative state. We have a year from now. A year from now. From September, a year from now. So if a question arises within you, of course, this is a general reading, but uh, just to get a perspective, if a question arises in you, uh, it says a year from now. Oh. Okay, we have already four here. I'm going to put this one back. We have already uh, four here. Let's see. Again, a financial pinch, but afterwards there is this opportunity or windfall. Or first opportunity or windfall, but the financial pinch is like maybe how to claim it. Okay, it's like there will be um, finance, but also it's maybe tricky to attain it or you got to find the ways. Okay, we have a person here who can be arrogant, boastful at this time. Uh, you need to trust your own mental fortitude and we have this exciting event. Exciting event. Okay, so now to me, let's get one more card. This September feels, um, there is a question arises in you and maybe a person is not answering it in the way that you hope. 
So you need to trust your own mental faculty and fortitude. Um, your obstacle may produce a blessing there. I would say not to get so much hurry about it. We have the giraffe because you need to see the bigger picture. Oh my God, <laughs> I love this animal. Take a step back and get to your thoughts and feelings. There you go. You see the uh, our uh, guy here. The question arises, and for that you need the big, uh, bigger picture. Also, don't get this is this is now you need to act like a Sagittarius person. Okay, now Gemini usually likes details and to things and attempt to uh, details and break subjects in many things and alternatives. But here, uh, don't get lost in details. Have the bigger picture. Uh, like more of like thinking and feeling like the Sagittarius, okay? Uh, and consult, if you need to consult someone necessarily, find a Sagittarius, they will tell you the bigger picture. Um, and Sagittarius, if you are a Gemini rising, your seventh house, the partnership is Sagittarius. So if you have a Sagittarius partner, they may give that feedback towards uh, to you. Um, the question arises, um, take a step back and get to your thoughts and feelings. Uh, this opportunity with the pinch, you will uh, get the benefits of something, but don't rush about them. Uh, don't lose your time with also that person, but this person's maybe tension here needs to a bit calm down as well, okay? Uh, their tension that, or you got to like wait until a person's, let's say it's an important person, I mean, you got to uh, find a, this is the maybe perspective you may want to get, but it seems uh, they are not likely to give it to you. Uh, then, yeah, you may also have that burst of, of a feeling uh, and also um, like a, a thought, um, but to this burst that you will find some answers also within you, maybe in the partner or someone you will be collaborating other than that uh, boast, boastful person, um, you may really reach, reach some answers there, but just don't uh, be quick to act. Um, just wait until if there is this dark clouds on your mind, just wait until things are settled. We have also the exciting event there. So you may be again like meeting someone. Um, there is going to be like a strong wind like coming from somewhere, metaphorically speaking, and it's gonna blown away that, that clouds. Um, September is preparing you to um, Engage with an important new idea, and this is gonna this is gonna uh, take this is gonna take a hold in your mind, uh, as if a light is turning on your life. There, so pay attention to new thought. This is very important. This is not likely to come from a person, maybe. It's an exciting time, which is going to combine itself with this exciting event. Um, and you, you will have your new idea. Of course, you will not be able to follow every nuance to its logical competition uh, in the future. Uh, that's why it wants you to have the big picture, okay? Uh, wow, so uh, th th there is a great potential laying that under that Ace of Swords. Which may facilitate your life. Now let's go to the October energy. Oops, okay. October energy. Seven of Swords. Okay, Seven of Swords. Let's see the tea leaf cards. Uh, 
you will be taken care of in a difficult time pay attention to your work too much concern with sexual matters and also control your anger or you will be sorry i feel in the seven of swords we have this uh, man and woman and there is also another woman that the man is uh, looking at now you can be this woman you can be this woman or you can be this man for sure so there is a stress in the relationship this is actually not a maybe best time to expand in communication but it's better you uh, develop that idea you have gained because this is actually what seven of swords does practically however there can be a sexual tension with a person uh, well, anger here is likely to be awakened. Uh, concentrate on your work because uh, something can pay, take your attention and focus more than it needs. Uh, there will be people around you, I think, who will take care in a difficult time again that you think maybe, um, let's say, your mind here. Yeah, there can be the scattered toes there. Uh, now, October is to me a bit tenacious month and things are a bit mixed up with regards to one-on-one -on -one relationships. Again, you may find out like speaking yourself or hearing like many languages like from different people. Actually, Seven of Swords that is a card which usually tells us to letting go of the old ways and actually uh, um, how to say encourages for the change and not the fear of change movement so um, if you if you um, by the way some Gemini I think really uh, maybe will likely to learn new languages there um, that I think the problem is you want to like cry out for something but a singular language of expression is unavailable or you just cannot find the that right word that's why it's like it feels like speaking uh, in like too many tongues and cannot be understood that's why it may be developing a particular anger so it's it's the time when our thinking is forked let's say now, um, that can also, f it, that can be this feeling of too many paths, too many alternative paths, and uh, each path maybe is equally desirable. Um, there is some kind of, uh, the mind here can a bit play tricks, like that, like that intellectual wreckage sometimes. Um, I feel like, I feel like Gemini, something feels twisting that um you may find yourself self comparing the uh, some incoming information with the also dictates of your own conscience conscience um but you need to find what is really highest functioning in your faith um that can be a bit this again anger based feeling um but it will pass just there is a particular dilemma it is getting fork get more import information compare this information also with the dictates of your conscience i think you can find the path um be, uh, because something um something for you here needs to become balanced there and then from there you can surrender to change um yeah this feeling split and twisted energy in a love triangle for some of you in love triangle energy um there can be some hidden meaning there that, that, that but um i feel that uh, the it's getting it's getting twisted there it's not um, giving you a clear picture okay uh, in a set of affairs I if I would worry you I would do me what it, what really feels unique to me there is a person around you actually who truly and genu genuinely wants to care about you I would definitely um, 
receive, let's say, if I were you, uh, that care and support. Um, a group of people, a man and woman, can also maybe with their behavior may make you go crazy. So there can be some jealousy crisis, even some love rivalry. Okay, it can be really tensious there. Pay attention to your work. Uh, this is going to be important. Again, we have another abundance mindset. Mindset like the circumstances here, like really testing your willingness to reach that abundance. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will be always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment, and that is what you will experience. That's why it wants you to have that focus in September. The seven here is a bit disrupting influence, like you need to stay back in the original goal. Uh, there can be a person, maybe you are doing work or something, but they have these behaviors, maybe like temptation, seduction, again, that sexual tension with the rabbit. It just this new year wants you to create your abundance and prosperity. So. Uh, something that is like distracting you from your goal, please, please uh, consider if anything is distracting you from your goal, stay away for, for, uh, from it, it says. Now let's see the November energy for you. What Gemini needs to know for their November. Wow, six of wands. Are we then witnessing some victory? And let's see your December as well with this card. And the chariot, you are on the road, I think, to success. And there is definitely from six to seven. This is a good one. Now, year fastens up, I think, after October, September and December. You may be like also visiting a place that you always wanted to visit. Like finally going there, finally being in there. So it may indicate some trouble and maybe the full, or again, like changing direction, relocation or anything in that nature. You will be shown the way. We have involvement with the law. Wow. Again, justice and the judgment. So this is likely to maybe play out uh, effectively in September. In the situation, there is someone you know is undependable and insincere. That was also uh, came up in the Five of Cups. And again, money, property, true inheritance, winning all with another uh, abundant uh, situation. Maybe at the end of a legal situation, you will receive money. Uh, maybe in the situation, the legal aspect will likely to show who was very insincere and undependable. Here, I see some gains. You will know and shown the way you are coming from the Ace of Swords energy. It's a good place to be with. I want to get a, a, a secret creator oracle for you for some reason. Because now you are becoming, you are creating it. You, you are becoming the creator uh, of your uh, life. Fall in love with your own story. There you go. Because you have made it until this part. Fall in love with your own story. This is a lifetime experience, really. This is a lifetime experience. I do appreciate you so much. Now, I want to also look at the... Uh, chariot here you are having this victory in September uh, sorry November and any legal situation here is likely to uh, manifest in the way maybe you are hoping to have we have again recognition reward for merit it's like the first beginning of your two months we have dissatisfaction with life. Why? Because you have everything. No, this is a something else. Maybe something missing, you think, still. Slowly but surely getting ahead. And vacation, yes. That place you always want to go, you are going there. This satisfaction here, I think... Um, just a second. Let me see what is the... Something doesn't feel enough to, uh, for you there. What is the reason for this satisfaction? 
with life you have many accomplishments and you are constantly reminded of your here again story and in your hero's journey card you were invited to create that story the dissatisfaction in the seven uh, in the uh, we have the nine of wands or oh, okay like at times this is the card of feeling sometimes traumatized like okay i have achieved it but why it was that much of struggle because why because life is um uh, because life is uh well making us uh, to exist in different ways and means you don't want your uh, defenses or boundaries here to be broken but you are developing like the dissatisfaction actually is in that way do i have to always now uh, fight with something showing strength you know i just want to relax kind of thing and there you go vacation here there you go to take it more slowly is here there you go your reward and merit is here this is a temporary time of course life sometimes gives us it's just puts us in the center of a honeycomb and you are just tasting from this beautiful honey and then six months later you have another struggle this is how it goes and um accepting it like that of course making us actually more uh, peaceful with our existence uh, the chariot energy here is uh, making you also a uh, victorious in one uh, i think aspect of life as well um this is like you're gonna find um a lot of wisdom and a lot of strength I think every element has come, especially involvement with love. Uh, again, this relationships and uh, coughing the casket, how you close a situation, close reached a closure for you, um, and setting you uh, has set a new journey for you, and again, new partnerships also emerging. It is all a different. It's a complex story, actually. Uh, I sometimes think to myself, we do not need to be in metaverse because in every tarot reading, we are already in a metaverse as we are introduced a very vibrant uh, alternate reality is there. Uh, so this is actually the metaverse uh, for you for 2022. Um, uh, just make sure uh, in December, uh, don't let negative past influences uh, affecting your present um, and you you will clear out a lot you will clearly begin to see with new energy and you will take responsibility for your present condition it uh, by december it's gonna feel like it's 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 time to move beyond the past now i am gonna seek now deeper deeper meanings uh, within myself and uh, I have the power to um, emerge from within myself uh, with some standards of action um, uh, uh, for myself to, to guarantee lasting results also for things so you will have enough internal messages and the story in the end, it will be all about acting on the basis of your own deep internal messages. Um, and throughout the year also, you will receive that important uh, messages. By December also, pay attention to your internal nudges uh, here, I would say. Uh, this is a great journey and um, to be in. Uh, 2022 i find it very excited uh, exciting for you gemini uh, this is a really a, a journey to the fullest the most uh, sophisticated eclectic and authentic journeys that i have ever seen in the cards Cong congratulations for that excuse me uh, so thank you so much for your participation Again, uh, I offer this reading until the first week of January. Uh, if you would like to have one, let me know. Uh, this is a reading style, uh, private. There are in private version. There are some supplementary things, but um, I I read with a special technique. So 
because I want to see how energy overlaps and etc. If you uh, consider one, let me know. Again, you got to be courageous and uh, have that leap of faith. Uh, before the reading so that it can be a full experience. Thank you, Gemini. Take good care. Bye for now.